Hey guys, Erica with a K here. Today's video is going to be on watercolor base drops again and again and again and again. So today's video is going to kind of just show you guys how it's faded out of my hair and then how it looks after I reapply it to my hair. So this first clip is me right before I go in the shower and I'm just kind of showing you guys that my hair is fading primarily in the back and there's a number of reasons for this. One is I lay on my back when I sleep. The other one is when I put it in my hair, I focus mainly on the front. And the other one is life. Guys, this is a color, this is a direct pigment color, so that means it's going to fade, it's going to oxidize, it's going to change over time. Whether or not you shampoo it every day, which I don't, the only time I shampoo it is to then put product back into my hair, uh, it will still fade. So it's not just if you don't shampoo it as much, it's not gonna fade. You have to kind of think of it as a direct dye color rather than anything else so that you can understand why it's fading out of your hair. Underneath this blue, I have white hair. So this is not something that is being deposited to my hair with a, with a developer that is helping it change like the structure of the hair. It is not a permanent color. It is a semi-permanent color. But the cool thing is you just put some in your conditioner or you put some in your gel or you put some in whatever you feel like putting it in and it literally deposits the color back into your hair. And since you can take the little bottles home with you and just do it in the shower, the really cool thing about it is, is that it's just a squirt pump, which is not messy, it is very clean, and it is also very easy to mix it in the shower. In my first video, I talk about how I just kind of put it right on my hair and I didn't do it in the shower because I didn't want to bring a bowl in, I didn't want to do all this stuff. The truth is you don't need a bowl, you don't need a brush, you don't need anything, you do need gloves, however, because your hands will stain. But you don't need a bowl, or anything like that. The cool thing about this that separates it from other semi-permanent direct dye colors is that it is drops. So you literally put your conditioner in your hand, you put a few drops in. I put four drops in today and this is how like bam it is, like it's bam. Um, but I put four drops in today and it literally, you just go like this in your hands, rub it together to make sure it's mixed and you put it in your hair. It's literally so easy. It is so easy. The hardest part is remembering to bring gloves into the shower, which I'm yet to do. I'm yet to do that and my hands are not that bad. Um, if you do it directly, as I did the first time in the first video of this, it stained my hands really bad. Um, and I would say not to do it directly. First of all, because it's not uh, in the direction to do it directly, it is to dilute it a little bit in a conditioner or any kind of liquid or gel product, cream product. Um, but also because it's going to last longer. These things are so pigmented that it's not like a regular um, like Pravana color or some kind of like direct color that's going to completely be washed out as soon as you mix it with another product. It is not like that at all. So it is very, very, very intense color. Again, this is only four drops in a handful of conditioner and this is how pigmented it is. And you can see in the other clip that it was like kind of fading out. It is very easy to put in your hair, blend in your hair. And this is just kind of like the process of which I do. So the first thing I do is I shampoo my hair I do use a watercolor shampoo. I use the silver one because that's what's in my shower because I used to have silver hair. Um, and I'm, I'm lazy about it, that's what I do. And then I take the conditioner, I put four drops in, that's it. You guys do not have to put more than four drops if you guys want very pigmented, like super, super strong hair, um, strong color hair. I put it in my hands, I rub it together to make sure it's thoroughly mixed. And I literally put it all down my hair, as you guys can see, I put it everywhere. And then I do everything else in the shower. So that is I shave, I wash myself, I shave some more because I use disposable razors and it takes me forever to shave. Um, and then I do my face, everything. And then when I'm done, I just rinse it out and I'm done. That is literally it. So it's not like you have to like sit there and time it. It works really, really well. It's staining your hair. It's really great at what it does. It is not going to cover gray. Um, again, if you think of it as a direct dye color, it's more understandable of how it performs. So just like a regular direct dye color, it doesn't, my dog's barking, sorry. It doesn't uh, cover gray. Think of it as like a gloss. A gloss is not a guarantee to cover resistant gray. It's the same kind of thing, only there's no developer being used whatsoever. So if you're looking for something in the meantime for this quarantine to cover your gray hair, I would 100% recommend the Watercolors Root Concealer Sprays. They literally don't do anything permanent to your hair. They will not ruin your hair. You won't need a color correction after this. They literally just spray on your roots and they come in a, a wide assortment of colors. I think it's red, dark brown, brown, blonde, platinum. And um, that is what I would recommend. I'm really sorry about my dogs. I'm losing my, losing my train of thought. Um, but that is pretty much that. So that is what I did today. I just put it in my hair once. Um, I don't like go crazy on it. I just let it do its thing. 
And that's it. If you guys want to see how I cut my hair into a mohawk, if you guys want to see how I style my hair as a mohawk, all those videos will be linked. All right. I love you guys so much and I hope to see you guys in my next video. Until next time, work hard, dream big, eat cake. Bye guys.